What you guys got another video here for you today. We're taking a look at the best new Microsoft Edge features for Microsoft's new browser. So let's take a look at the browser here. The first thing we're taking a look at is the tabs. Now, if you've got tabs up the top here, which is the customary place to put tabs, you can now have these in a vertical position by turning on uh, this vertical tabs here. Basically, when you put this on, you can see all your tabs will be down the left hand side here. They have been removed from the top and put down here. Now you can move these about by just grabbing hold of them and basically dragging them where you want them and organizing them. You can add a new tab by just clicking on the new tab area here. And basically, it's a very nice little feature to have on the side here. Now you can have it pinned or you can just basically have it hidden. So when you click on this collapse panel, you can see it's down the side here. When I hover over it, it basically pops out which I think is a much better, nicer feature. You can also pin it and have it open permanently, just like this one here. So that is the nice new added feature called vertical tabs. And if you want to make sure that yours is enabled, you're gonna to need to make sure you got the very latest version of Microsoft Edge. And also go into the settings pane here. Uh, inside the settings pane, you can see where it says appearance here. Just check inside here and make sure that you have show vertical tabs button and it's toggled on if it's on by and by default you should be able to uh, see that little button up in the top left hand corner so pretty nice little added feature there for the latest uh, microsoft edge browser so let's move on to the next one and take a look at the next feature that's been added which i think is a very good feature uh, for certain types of people that may need uh, this particular type of feature so you can highlight any sort of text here let me just show you here I'll highlight all of this text here. And then what you can do is right click on this. When you right click on it, you should see read aloud section. This will then read aloud that Updates section, for Windows 10, just like so. So a very Windows cool Server, feature uh, for the latest version of Microsoft Edge here. Service, which means now, when you go up to the top here, you can stop uh, this by just clicking on the pause, or you can skip this area here. And you can highlight things as well and change what type of text you want it to read. Up here, you've got your voice options. You can slow it down or you can speed it up or have it on normal. You can also choose a voice as well, depending on where you live in the world or determine how you want to hear uh, that particular type of readback. So let's do a, another uh, type of language here so you can get an idea of how this works. So we'll do indie and uh, basically we'll highlight some uh, text here and you can continue to do uh, the readout here by just going up to the top where it says continue Updates readout or you can push the play button so you can see it's reading this back now in hindi which is very accurate indeed so that is how you can change uh, the uh, voices up on the top right hand side here so let's go ahead and uh, so let's try an english language one and see what that sounds like so you can see it's now doing uh, someone server, typically who lives in england and it will read it out just like so i'm pretty service, sure that there is some use for this particular feature for some people so we can also go up to the top here and we'll take a look we're going to highlight the text again we're going to right click on this this time and what we're going to do here is we're going to go down to it says open up inversive uh, reader you can click on this here and this will open up this window, which puts it now into its own um, window here, where you can now change Updates a lot of these features. Windows. So going up here, we can change the spacing of these words. We can also change uh, the background color. So if you are colorblind and you want to change the color so you can read the font better, you can actually do that here. And you can add more space in here to make it a bit more easier to understand if you have got some sort of impaired vision. So just by making the font larger and also making the space in there and changing the background theme can make it a lot easier to understand. You can also uh, split the words into syllables. You can do nouns, verbs and stuff like that. And you can toggle these on and it will highlight them a little bit so you can uh, read it a little bit easier. Uh, maybe you've got some sort of dyslexia or something like that. So you can see how useful this could be for someone uh, which is colorblind or dyslexic or, or something along those lines. You've got plenty of options available here uh, where you can change these. And also you can use the translate here, which is very useful for people that live in different countries. 
that want to be able to change the text so they could read it because they can't read English or anything like that. You can just change it to whatever language you wish here. So let's go ahead and change uh, this um, language here to say Hindi. And you can see here when you do that, it will change this into Hindi. Very simple and easy to do. And you can even read it back to you by just clicking on this here. And it will read it back to you in Hindi. Very, very good indeed. Just goes to show you how powerful computers are at doing tasks like this. So next up, we're going to go up to the three dots here, click on this, and we're going to go to settings and take a look at the next feature, which I think is a very powerful feature. You can see here under the privacy search and services settings, we can now look for our DNS here. So you've got options to go into the security area and change uh, your service provider for a different DNS. So you can go into here, click in the little box and it will give you open DNS, Cloudflare, Google, or even a uh, clean browsing for family. So we'll try one of these and I'll show you basically what that is. So let's put it back into uh, Cloudflare here. But if I wanted to say protect young children online, you can literally put it into here and put it into family safe and you won't be able to get any sort of um, adult content like 18 plus or anything like that. It will block all that out for you because it's been geared up for that. So let me just put it in there and put this to the test. And we'll go to one sort of adult site to see whether it blocks that site. And this is going to be a known site. Uh, we'll give it a test. So let me go up the top here and type this out. I'm going to blur this out so you can't see where the site is, but you get a general idea of what I mean. And you can see it says, hmm, can't reach this page. And that's because it's now been blocked because we've got that in the family safe search. So that is an awesome feature added in uh, to that browser. So let's go back up to the top here. And if you look up the top, you're going to see there's a little area called collections here. Now, this collections is pretty decent. You just click on that little collections button at the top right. And once you've clicked on this, you can just see there's a little tiny pane that's open up on the right hand side here. Let me just basically uh, go through here and just say no thanks here. But you can add stuff to Pinterest and other things like that if you want to do that by signing in here. So let me just add a, a content. So it's added the page that I'm looking at here into here, which means I can easily open this up and uh, basically get access to this very, very quickly. You can add a note in here as well. So maybe you've got something to do later on in the day and you can put uh, get shopping or whatever it is you need to do in here and click save. And it will put this into your little column down the side here, your little collections. And maybe there's something that you need to do. You can also drag photos into here as well online so if you want to look at that photo a little bit later on you can do that you can also drag in videos from uh, youtube and stuff like that so maybe you wanted to drag something in here it will automatically put it in a list inside here i think this feature is very useful indeed especially for someone who who's got a lot of stuff that he wants to look at in throughout the day and he doesn't want to have a load of tabs open you can just grab them all into this collections area here Maybe you're keeping an eye on some sort of article or post online, or maybe something is being sold on places like eBay. You can drag this straight into here and you can keep an eye on it very quickly by clicking on it here. So I do like that feature. So what do you do once you get all these collections? Well, you can create uh, new collections and rename them, call them whatever you like. You can close it off and open it again. It will still be there as a collection uh, in that little list there. So let me open it again. You can see it's called New Collection. You can rename it. You can also send it to Excel, OneNote, Word, Pinterest, uh, sort by name, date created, or recently used. You can open all, copy all. You can do whatever you like with them. They're very, very useful indeed. Just rename them to whatever you like, and that makes it very easy to find these. So it could be, uh, you know, PC parts for a build, or it could be just about anything you want uh, to put in here. Very useful. Like that feature a lot. So once you've got all those saved, you can just click on collections again and they will be listed here just like so. And you can click on these and it'll open them up and you can go ahead and do whatever you want to do with them. Very useful feature in my personal opinion. And uh, I think Microsoft Edge has come on a long way since the first time it was released when I didn't like it at all. But now I'm actually starting to like it quite a lot. So the next one I want to talk about here is called Web Catcher. Web Capture is quite a really useful little feature. You can use the shortcut keys if you wish, but when you click on web capture here, it'll allow you to capture the whole website that you're looking at. Maybe it's an article, maybe it's a tutorial, 
and something like that. You can print it out. You can do whatever you like of it. And uh, it will just literally capture the whole thing here. Or you can snip it and capture a certain part of that tutorial that you might be looking at. Or maybe it's something that you're interested in. And you can collect that and put it into your collections even. Now, once you've got it captured, you can go up the top here. You can write on here as well. You can uh, highlight it. You can change the thickness here. Change the color. Circle it just like so. Maybe write something on screen. Maybe you're sharing your screen and you want to show someone something. And you can quickly... Uh, highlight something and show show it on screen here maybe you're doing some sort of seminar very very useful indeed you can rub stuff out like so and take it off the screen as well so it's got the eraser on there very uh, sort of basic level type of uh, web capture but very useful indeed and it means you don't have to install any sort of extensions or anything like that because it's built in to the actual browser which i think is a real added bonus you can also download them here as well and you can also share them or whatever you want to do with those captures that you've captured. So next up we're going to take a look at the snippet here. So we're just going to go back into web capture here and take a little uh, snippet of this website and I'll just quickly highlight what I want to capture and it will allow you to capture it just like so. Copy this, add notes and there you go. And you can then write on here if you wish and do all the same things so if you don't want to capture the whole website, you could just take a little small snippet of something like that. Maybe it's something like this. You just go back in, use your shortcut keys, or you can just use the main web capture uh, by going to the three dots there. So that is the web capture. What else have we got to look at? Let's go into the uh, settings pane here, go into here. And what we're going to do is go up to appearance and into where it says default theme. Put the drop down menu and you've got built in dark mode into the theme of uh, the actual browser itself which means again you don't have to use any sort of uh, extensions or anything like that it's actually built into uh, the browser which i think is a nice added bonus and again if you do a lot of reading of articles online this will literally save your eyes from looking at white screens all the time so next up we're going to go into edge colon forward slash forward slash and then flags this will take us into the flag section which we can now take a look at some advanced options here so the one i'm looking for is the qr code and you can see it's not set to default at the moment but i'm going to enable this uh, feature and uh, by just going here and clicking on enable once i've got that enabled you're going to see exactly what this actually does it is pretty useful so i just wanted to show you this one so we're going to go up to the top here i'm going to put in a web address for a say a post or something like that we want to look at so i'll quickly paste this in here and push enter and there we are we're at my website here so now we've got the link up the very top here maybe you want to share this with someone as a qr code you can highlight the link here and there'll be a qr code up here you can click on this now and it gives you the qr code for that particular site and the link will be in there you can download this and share it to someone very quickly and easily and you can also change the uh, QR code on the fly as well. So if you want to change that, all you need to do is change the actual URL. And basically, it will change the QR code. Let me just quickly show you. So as I start typing, you can see the QR code is being changed. This will be a different QR code for each site that you go to. And you can download this or send it to someone. And they will be able to basically go straight to that site if you want to use the uh, scan QR code method. Very nice little feature there. So that's going to be about it for this video. Uh, Microsoft Edge has come on a long way. Check it out and have a look at it before you start uninstalling it. I think it's a pretty decent browser with those added features. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.